back to Bubbly Balloon Co. and another holiday video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple backdrop for just a generic holiday party. Y'all can do this with any colors you want. I'm going to keep it non-denominational for this one. Give that like corporate office party some options here, okay? Now what I want to show you guys today is a, a backdrop that's not a full backdrop. It's not an entire wall. It's not an entire arch. You're not looking at 30 or 50 or 70 feet of garland where a lot of small businesses just aren't willing to shell that much out. Out. maybe they're putting it towards you know the food and the alcohol and the entertainment and whatever and the decor is kind of got a smaller budget so let me give you um, just one idea of kind of a simple backdrop you could do with balloon garlands to make that holiday party pop balloons today I'm keeping it simple with two main colors I've got this beautiful pearlized silver from the party city brand here in 5 inch 12 inch and 24 inch and then I've got simple white from Tough Decks in 5, 11, and 17 inches, as well as some silver confetti balloons off of Amazon. First thing I'm gonna do is make a huge mess and dump out all the balloons I'm planning on using. And this is what it's looking like once I dump all these out. Now the thing I love about using 17s, 11s, 5s, 12s, 24s, even if we don't have all those sizes in the same color, is we're gonna get that nice variety of size throughout the garland. No matter what color we're using, we're gonna have that differentiation that really gives it dimension. So today I'm gonna switch it up a little. I'm gonna be working in twosies. I'm gonna be taking a pair of balloons, a duplet here, inflating two at a time, tying those together, and then attaching a bunch of those together to make this garland. One thing that I love is once you have kind of the basics down of this like art form, you're free to do whatever you like, whatever you know you feel like doing whatever you're inspired to do and bring to life so today I'm gonna to be working in pairs of two we're gonna see what what difference that gives to this garland if it makes much of a noticeable difference at all I think it gives you just a little more options for customization a little more ability to flow when I normally work in clusters of 6 8 12 um, it's just chunkier you know and I'm going for like a little bit I don't know daintier is the right word but just a little more customized today since I'm not doing a huge piece where I really want to chunk it out in huge sections. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking any two balloons, more or less any two sizes, but I'm going to mostly stick to these mid 11, 12, 17s for the most part, and I'll sprinkle in some fives, I'll sprinkle in some 24s. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab any two balloons here. I'm gonna pick one white and one silver to start things off using my trusty little inflator here, my dual nozzle pump. I love this little guy for being so cheap. He has done me so well. And I will link that down below in the description if you're interested. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Now you can see this silver is a pearlized silver, not a chrome silver like the Qualtex chrome lines or like the um, mirror or the reflex lines from other brands. This is pearlized, meaning it's slightly translucent. It's just got that little like luminescent glow to it, okay? So as always, I'm gonna let a little bit of air out while I press down to make it nice and bubbly. Okay, just like that. Same on the white. There we go, those two right there. Cross them over, tie those next one over the other and pull tight and that's my first duplet okay let's knock out some more pairs keeping in mind i want that variance in size i don't want to inflate all of them to the same size even if they're the same size balloons i want you know some of them huge and some of them small and i really want to have that dimension that creates throughout this garland okay so i'm gonna grab a couple more balloons make another duplet and just keep it going <laughs> All right, now that I've got a handful of duplets made, I'm gonna go ahead and start connecting my garland. You're welcome to do all the inflation first and then connect at the end. I really like to do them both as I go along, as you probably know if you've seen my other videos. So what I'm gonna be using today is 260s in the color white. Now this is a 260. These are the long, skinny, stretchy balloons that are used for like twisting shapes and animals. They inflate to two inches wide and 60 inches long, which is why they're called 260s. Now I love to keep these in my apron. They're just woo, a swoosh away at all times and they're so easy to work with. They're just my favorite. So all I'm gonna do is take the end of my 260 and just tie a very simple knot around one of these pairs right here. Okay, just like that. 
take any other pair really honestly guys it doesn't too much matter if you want to put a lot of thought into laying out the different sizes and like a pattern almost you could do that i'm i, I like to keep it very easy while you're learning and then you can get more complicated with it if you want so i'm just going to grab basically any other pair okay get that neck nice and close together there and then just do a simple wrap with my 260 okay look how easy that is okay Take my next little pair here, get those nice and close together, and a nice little wrap. And look, you guys see, we're getting that variance in size. We're getting that dimension created here by using so many differently sized balloons. Okay, take my next pair, just like that. Get the, get the center of it kind of close to the center of the others. And just a little simple wrap. And that's the beginning of my garland. Okay, now this is going to be going along the top of this backdrop, which is why I'm zoomed out today so y'all can see that. So this is kind of just the beginning. This is what it's starting to look like, all right? Now I'm going to want to do the whole top of this here. Just a little something as like a nice photo backdrop station for, in my fictional example, employees to come and take their holiday pictures if they've got props or whatever. Okay, so now that you've seen the technique I'm using today, I'm going to blow it up. When you're running out of space on your 260, just go ahead and tie another one on there to extend it and you can keep going. looking so far I hope you guys can see all of the dimension all of the variety we have with these different sizes and I haven't added in the 24 inch yet but I hope you can see why I love 17 inch balloons so much I really feel like that 16 17 18 like that mid size adds everything to a garland like there's just no comparison to me so as you're building this out you might get to a point um, where it looks kind of funky in an area you can see the 260 showing through. The good news is it's super easy to rotate these and kind of reposition them as needed. So all you have to do is like grasp it and just kind of turn a little bit. And that's gonna let you reshape this in pretty much any direction you need. And working in duplets or pairs instead of clusters, I just feel like you have more hands-on control over getting it like reshaped at that individual level rather than when you're working in quads and eights and twelves. It's just a little bigger and bulkier, that's all. So at this point, we're super close to being done with this top garland, so I'm just going to add a couple more pairs on. I'm probably going to cap off the ends with some of those beautiful 24 inches, and we'll go from there. So as far as hanging and attaching this to the backdrop stand, I'm going to go ahead and use the remaining part of the 260 here at the end to tie it to either the clips on the stand, to the actual stand itself, like one of the poles, whatever you can get attachment to, I would say go for it. You can also use like safety pins or clips through your cloth backdrop if you have one. If it's in front of a wall, you can put command hooks on the wall itself. But for me personally, I view this stand, this like pole frame as a far more stable option in most cases. So this top garland is beautiful in and of itself, but I feel like we can use a little more detail. I was originally thinking of doing a second garland, kind of like hanging below it a little bit smaller and more detailed, but seeing how this turned out, I really love how large and dimensional this feels. So I think I might just add a little bit onto the sides so it, it gives the appearance of a little bit more of a frame than just kind of like a top here, and we'll see how that looks. Yes, this top garland is cute, but I can make it cuter for less than $20 in less than 20 minutes. Let's do another installment of 2020 where I use less than $20 of materials and take less than 20 minutes of time to try to make the original creation a heck of a lot cuter. 
Initially, I was thinking of adding a second garland onto this one, but as I got going with this one, I really just thought a little bit of extra length on either end here would really cap this off nicely, make it look a lot more like a frame, and just really polish it off. So that's what I'm doing here. So now that I've got this little bit of add-on here, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to what's already there, and then we can go ahead and detail with either some more small or large balloons. Look at the difference just those couple extra feet on either side make. It's like a completely different setting now. Your guests are going to be framed in in the shot, and it just looks so much more complete like this, don't you think? Now I do have a few five inch, some 24 inch, and these beautiful confetti still sitting here. So let's blow these up and see how we can detail this to really make it pop. Okay, today for detailing, I'm using my most favorite method, which is to take either a single balloon, a duplet, a little trio, whatever you're working with. Okay, take your 260, go ahead and just tie it to the center there, to those necks, super simple. Okay, and then we've got this long end here that we're gonna go ahead and tie to another balloon or pair or trio, whatever you're using. And now we can detail super easily by just going ahead and putting one end in wherever we want it in the garland, wrapping the 260 through the garland and putting the other end exactly where we want that. And here she is with no more than 15 minutes of extra work and zero dollars extra in expenses because all of this was already slated for this job. I've added at least five more feet onto this garland, which in a professional setting, depending on your market, that might be another 50 bucks, another 100 bucks, maybe even more. What do you think? Was that extra 15 minutes worth it? I hope this video gave you an idea for a simple photo backdrop that you could adapt to any holiday, any kind of party. This whole thing didn't take more than about an hour in all to create, and we're looking at about 15 feet of garland in all. We've still got a lot more holiday creations coming, so thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. If you got any video requests, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.